going out there. It's like now you the one that's put to the fire. Let me ask you a question. Now that you said all this, now when you look at the things that you just read, nobody denies that we get to the context of the law of Christ and the law of Moses, right? Now, you said they are the same. Right. When we look at, I want to go to another verse that since you say the nation. Galatians 3, Galatians 5, verse 2 and 3. The verse that we just read? Galatians 6, um, 17 on down. Galatians 5, 5. Galatians 5, I'm sorry, not 5, 6, 5. Galatians 5, 17 on down. You want Galatians 1 and 2? Oh, Galatians 3. Galatians 3, 1 and 2. Yeah, sir. Yeah, verse 3. Galatians 3 and 3. Galatians, read the first three verses. I'm sorry. The first three verses. Now, before I read this, because I'm trying to understand, because I, 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 it's good to read scriptures. It tells you in Nehemiah 8 and 8 that when you read scriptures to give the sense and cause the people to understand the reading. Okay. So when I read the verses, I'm trying to understand why, what's the objective of pulling the verse, or what's the point okay. of pulling the verse. Great, but let him read it. The last verse is going to tell you why when you read it. All right, Galatians 1, Galatians 3 and 1. Galatians 3 and 1. All foolish Galatians who have... We wish you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ has been evidently set forth. We should just keep reading. No edification on that? Alright. Go ahead, go ahead, keep reading. No, no. Crucified among you. Verse he's two. letting them know, let me, let me say that he's letting them know what has happened. You've seen this happen. Because now, once they've been saved, they're going back into the that's why it's the old Galatians who have bewitched it. Right. For what they were in previous. Right. So they've been saved. They're going to Right. And who are the Galatians? Huh? And who are the Galatians? These were, these were people that were Gentiles. They were like Jews. Well, Israelites. Yes. Okay. They were, all right. Yes. All right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all I wanted to make sure we Because it's, it's important to understand. All right. Read. Verse 2. This only... Would I learn of you? Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Are ye so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, are ye now made perfect by the flesh? I want you to explain it, because remember, these are verses that you're pulling for the point. The reason why I'm pulling this okay, because, reason why I'm pulling this because you went to five in Galatians five to show of the law, right? Now he's showing separation or distinction of Christ and what they were doing previously. That's why he's saying of the law. He said of the work of the law with some of the things we just read in Galatians five. Right. These things were. Right. Now we know we ain't supposed to do that under the law, lying, stealing, cheating, and all those things. Of course. You ain't supposed to do that whether under the old or under the new. Right. The question is the law, is that law under the Old Testament of Moses or under Christ? That's why I went to Romans 10 in the verse 5, five verses. Right. He showed, but you didn't explain that. That's why we read it. You didn't explain it. Well, I didn't go back. I didn't go to that. Okay. That's why. That's why. Right. To show you. So now, all right, I get what you're saying. I get so, it. I understand. Is, all I get I'm it. saying, or what the Bible is saying is that we gotta have a distinction of most because if we're doing that, then it's gonna tell us why are we doing everything under the time and the most law. Now, oh, oh, oh no, see, did you miss what we were saying before? Do you miss why Christ died on the cross? Oh, no. Right? So now, like I gave you the example, like I gave you the example of the woman who committed adultery. The woman who committed adultery, she sinned. According to the judgments in the Old Testament, Mosaic law, she was supposed to be killed. Nobody, listen, nobody denied it. I'm, I'm explaining. Right, right, right. But now with Christ, we've been given an opportunity to learn the right way. Right? To get right. Now, when you look at this verse that we're reading as far as for the law, uh, uh, how it's quoted, as far as for did we learn by the law or did we learn through faith? This is where we have to come to understand with Paul. Right? Paul was pressured by the brothers that was in, in Jerusalem. Those that was rolling with them, he said, listen. Or they said, listen. They got to be crucified. I mean, they got to be circumcised in the flesh. 
they got to be circumcised. Who said that, Paul? No, the Jews that was in Jerusalem, okay. when they heard Paul was going out to our brothers that was out there, and the, uh, throughout Asia Minor, throughout the Gentiles, when you follow those customs, it wasn't a custom to get circumcised. So now when you know that that was a covenant given by the Most High to Abraham, so they said, listen, if they're rolling with you, circumcise them. Paul was saying, listen, hold up. You're dealing with the chicken and the egg because if I circumcise this man, but he ain't got the faith yet, what profit is it? What profit is it? Right? I was circumcised from birth. Right? But I wasn't doing the law. That's a covenant that the Most High gave to Abraham to his seed. But now if I don't have the faith in my mind to want to do the law, that circumcision availeth nothing. So this is why he said, as far as for the works of the law, you got to have first the faith. Right? Right. So now let's just say the brother had faith and he came in the truth. That's what Paul was saying. You know what would convict him to want to go do? I see that in the law. I want to show forth my faith by my works. I want to go get circumcised. I'm not forcing him to go do it. He's reading the law and based on his faith, that's what he wants to go do. Right? His faith says, I'm going to try my best to stop smoking cigarettes. You got people out here right now don't smoke cigarettes. But does that mean they're in the spirit? No. Does that mean they're following Christ? No. So you got to have first that faith. That's what the distinction is. It starts with the faith first. And that's what Paul was going out. With the, first thing, with the first thing that he was doing? I don't deny that. With the first thing he was doing was teaching Jesus. Excuse me, who was teaching, teaching Jesus? Jesus. Paul. How was he teaching Jesus when he's the master teacher? Well, no, he was not teaching Christ. Teaching. I mean, he was teaching the people about he said Jesus. Jesus. Right, right, right. He was teaching the people about Jesus. He was teaching the people about Jesus. I know, but you said he's teaching Jesus. I just want to get that correct. Right, so we clear that up. What's the question? Oh. Uh, what's the question? Uh, what's the question? Uh, what's the question? Uh, what's the question? Teaching Jesus. Right. The words, the words. The words are kind of... You yeah, makes sense. Using to turn people. It clearly said, a work believe not be ashamed. It seemed like you can't make a man be ashamed. But study in the word. He's he nah. clearly telling you, you will be moved, you will be hypnotized. These are loose. In other words, this man. This is, he said, my word, even a fool cannot have it. Hey, whoa, 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 Even I, this is like what I did, and I understand what you said. Those of you, and those of mine, who think, oh, I've been there, I've prayed to God. Number two, one time in that book, you know the joke. He said, every person will be good for what you did and what you did. Yes, it does. And then I, you're at like, I'm trying, I'm, trying, I'm trying to clear it up. You, you're telling them to read this scripture. You're telling them to read this scripture. You've been to the church, and your same pastor said the same thing. That, good, wait, whoa, 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 Don't listen. Don't listen. That's the problem. Pastor, like my pastor. Yeah, and listen. we went up there, and we... You covered, you covered. We fall back. I'm saying fall down. I'm saying fall down. And you don't want to accept. Chances are you can go to hell. That's right. And you've been going to church all your life. Your mama told you, son, don't do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I ain't saying nothing. I don't want to say something. This is what I'm saying. In other words, beware when he say, be careful. I can take the stranger. This man is a stranger to right? you, know, right? We all pretty shy of this But you know what? I wrote a song. And I don't know how I got that song. But I do know what it's called. I woke up. I woke up. I'd love to hear that song, right? No, I just hear me going. Chaos. Wait a minute. What did he say? Say, come with me. I didn't hear what did Satan come to you? Kill, see, kill. He came, he came to deceive, right? And he came us to have it to be killed. Because the farther, the, the farther away are we from the truth, 
the further away we from our salvation. And something tells me, I'm all you. You know what? I don't have a lot of people these folks speaking this way. Somebody, somebody is speaking uh, right. Somebody trying to push you. Uh, you move and all that. But what did it get moved? Because we moved about the wrong way. Somewhere along the line, we moved it the wrong way. And I hear that. I actually hear him. He that got him here, then what? Let him hear him. So what is it that you got here? You got that on there? Sure. Then <laughs> you go to John, that's the clearest thing. Can you just go to First John, just give him the respect well, while I'm know. out here, that, that I have the right on the right. Can you go to the First John, just uh, the first verse? And that's it. First John 1 and 1? Yeah, I believe First John I'm 1 and 1. Okay. That's it. I'm one, nah, nah. You that's on, that. See you jumping. Wait, wait, wait. And no, no, no. If wait, you wait, wait, wait. You keep getting this man jumping. I'm and not jumping. Right. I mean, you're saying something, but so but he's going to answer. Yeah, but he's giving you the answers, and you and you're four and one. I'm sorry. First down, four and one. You just start as a, you're old enough to be my father, and I respect you. I didn't say anything, but okay. now. That's good. I'll read this. Right. You want four, first down, yeah, four and one? All right. Read that. Beloved, believe not every spirit. Hear what God said? But try the spirit. By the spirit. Whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out of the world. We have the authority. This man that I hear, he's preaching. This is what he believes. But I have authority through Jesus Christ. If I don't believe the same thing that he believes, which I don't, I can ask him if he's going to end up right this man. But, I understand what you're saying. I'm not, I'm still not going to. Wait, whoa. He's I'm not going to. Uh -uh. this, you are, this, no, you're not. No, you're not. Disrespect you, you in that not. way, but I no, do have authority not. for Jesus Christ. I'm one of them that did that. No, you are not. Because you wouldn't dare stand there and say, um, what's it, 2 Timothy? Um, 2 Timothy 2.15? Yeah. yeah. What's it? Say it, say it again. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needed might not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That's right. Now, okay. now, Take care. so now, Bye. with the verse that you just read, right? It said, try the spirit, don't believe every speech. Right. right. So now, this is why we have to implore others to do what? Get the verse out of the scriptures. So the first thing that you said when we walked up, I said, listen. Salvation is for the Jews when we started to get into a, a joust a bit. I said, give me a scripture where God, Christ, Paul, Peter said that salvation was for all the other nations. Where is that verse in the Bible? Because the Bible, God says, I don't change. I was for my people before. I'm going to be for my people again. I'm going to read two scriptures to end this off. Give me Romans, the ninth chapter. And then I'm going to have one of them. Okay. Yeah. Now, like I said. Uh, James said there is no variableness with God or Christ. Variableness means it changed. It's like having a credit card and they give you an interest rate. And they said your interest rate is a variable rate. Meaning it could go up, it could go down. Most I said no, I don't work like that. Right? So now again, like the brother said, Paul was sent to the Gentiles. Right? Now, let's see what Paul said. Romans 9 and 3. Romans 9 and 3. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ. For my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So this is Paul in Rome speaking to the people, writing a letter. I wish that I could be separated from Christ for my brethren, my kinfolk, according to the flesh, meaning through birth. Who are these people? Read. Who are Israelites? They said, who are Israelites? Now, when the Lord always spoke about Israelites, there was something special about them. Old and New Testament. Let's let Paul give the example of what is special about these Israelites that no other person has or no other nation has. Read it again. For a four. Who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption? To whom pertaineth the adoption. What does that mean, the adoption? Because when the children of Israel disobeyed God's commandments, the Lord said he turned his back on his people. He turned his back on them and he said, I'm going to turn you over to your own ruin. So now if the Lord turned his back on you, that means you are left without a father. You are out there fatherless right now. 
That's why even in the New Testament, in the book of James, they said true righteousness of religion is to go to the widow, widows and the fatherless. Because there's no guidance. So we was following after everybody else, 